What up, what up, everybody? It's the Rottweiler Patriots. I'm Vegas. And I'm T-Bone. And we're coming at you with another video today where we're going to be doing our Week 8 Power Rankings. These are who we think are the 10 best teams in the NFL headed into Week 8. And we're going to start off at number 10 with the Buffalo Bills. The Bills coming off of a tough loss to the New England Patriots where the Patriots had easily their best game of the season and the Bills didn't play as well as they would have liked especially in the first half had a pretty good second half made the comeback got the late lead but in the end their defense couldn't hold up against the Patriots offense which had a pretty good day but regardless, the Bills are still a pretty good football team, so they do make this top 10 list. T-Bone, your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, they still are a really a good football team, you know, in the top 10. That being said, they just, some of these, some of the Bills uh, this year, uh, some of their games are just, they're playing not that good. It's just, it's just, you know, some of these games are, not, I don't want to say fluky, but just, just odd, just weird. But that being said, they'll probably come back next week and, you know, drop 40 on whoever they're playing. And and it just – they've got Josh Allen and Diggs. They should be fine. And James Cook has kind of come up big too. Yeah, overall, I agree. The Bills have definitely been a inconsistent team this year. But so have so many other teams. There are several really, really good teams who've just had some weird games. So – Every team's been having a weird year. It's been a weird year in the NFL overall. And we're going to kind of play into that in our next video with predictions. But for now, the Bills are number 10. And coming in at number 9, we've got ourselves the Cincinnati Bengals. The Bengals coming off of a bye week did not play this week. But the Bengals are a team who have been trending upward and based off of their recent play, look like they're headed in the right track to become the team that people thought they were going to be before the season. T-Bone, your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of believed in them. They, uh, I believe that they're, they're starting to get their groove now. They're starting to get their feel. They're, um, even though they had a bye, I, I, I'm loving the momentum. and I think they're going to carry it over to next week. So, I, that's what I gotta say. Yeah, I mean, I agree. This kind of feels like last year's Bengals were a little bit slow to start the year, but starting to pick it up. I think it took them a little longer to pick it up this year, but just based off of last year, I think that's what we're going to see out of them. And just based off of last week, uh, the week before their bye, I mean, I think we can see that from them. Alrighty, coming in at number eight, we've got ourselves... The Detroit Lions, the Lions coming off of a humiliating loss to the Baltimore Ravens, where it was very reminiscent of the old Lions and not the team that we have seen from them this year. Easily their worst performance of the year on all sides of the ball. Offense was abysmal, defense was abysmal, just not a great game against an admittedly tough Ravens team, but they would have loved to have put up a much better fight than that. Regardless, they're still a highly talented team who can win a lot of games and go very far in the playoffs if they play like we know they can. It's like we mentioned with Buffalo. Good teams have bad games. The Cowboys lost to the Cardinals. You know, the Eagles barely beat the Commanders. Teams have fluky weeks. It happens. I think that's what this is for the Lions. I still think they're a good team. But for this week, they do drop down to number eight. T-Bone, your thoughts? I can't agree more, dude. I, I really can't agree more. I, I, some teams got fluky weeks. You know, this has already been just a fluky, fluky season. It's kind of just an odd season. That No one made it to 6-0, and oh, and that's just sad. So, I mean, it's just a lot of weird football. Doesn't mean bad football, a lot of weird football. I keep saying this next season's going to be the weirdest. Turns out I keep getting proved wrong. Still think the Lions are great. Still think the Lions are a great team. This is just one of those hiccups. Yeah, I mean, I completely agree. I don't think there's really anything more else to say. 
Alrighty, coming in at number seven, we've got ourselves the Seattle Seahawks. The Seahawks coming off of a win over the Arizona Cardinals where they went in, got it done, and went out. The Cardinals, a team who have overall been overperforming and playing better football than people expected. And the Cowboys will tell you, don't take them too lightly. Seahawks didn't. Defense had a pretty good day. Offense didn't do great, but did what they needed to do. A routine victory for a pretty good Seahawks team. And we didn't learn too much about them, other than they're pretty darn good. T-Bone, your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, they got in, got business done. See, uh, Cardinals have been overperforming, uh, but the Seahawks were able to pull it out uh, and just, just be the better team. And they've just been performing well. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Yeah. I mean, Seahawks can say they're one of the few teams this week who didn't get upset. <laughs> so, you know, just just this week, winning a team you sh against a team you should beat is massive. All righty. And coming in at number six, we've got ourselves the Dallas Cowboys. The Cowboys coming off of a bye. Did not play this week, but still a pretty good football team who can do some pretty good things. Have a pretty solid quarterback in Dak Prescott. Have some scary weapons on the offense in both the running and receiving game. Have a pretty good defense, including potential defensive player of the year, Micah Parsons. Regardless of some of the slumps that they've had this year, they're still a highly talented team and a tough team for anyone to beat. T-Bone, your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, just because they had this bye doesn't mean that uh, nothing happened. I mean, you know, no no big injuries happened. They're uh, they're going into next week hoping for a win. They've just been they've been playing pretty solid, and the teams that they haven't won against are pretty good teams, except for the Cardinals. So, 49ers are a good team, but uh, yeah, the, the the Cowboys are a good team, and uh, you know, here's uh, here's hoping they can keep up uh, the wins that they've got. Yeah, I mean, I don't got much else to add other than how dare you hope for the Cowboys win. We we root for the Cowboys' demise, always. Just kidding, but not really Cowboys fans. Sorry, we kind of hate the Cowboys. Everyone does. It's just a thing. I don't hate the Cowboys. Eh, yeah, you do. I don't know. I'm a little more okay. Stephen A. Smith than you are, but <laughs> you definitely have not shown a, I'm a little more to Shaq than you are. Uh, sometimes I don't it just depends. It just depends. There's one team on this list I dislike more, and we'll, uh, yeah, we'll see you soon. Yeah, I think there's one team on this list we both dislike more than the Cowboys, and that's hard to do. All righty, coming in at number five, we have ourselves jumping up. The Baltimore Ravens. The Ravens coming off of a blowout win against the Detroit Lions where they outclassed them on all sides of the ball. A brilliant offensive performance, an excellent defensive performance, held a high-flying offense to single digits. My word, what a game from the Ravens. And this is a team who has been able to overcome some of their injury issues, overcome adversity, and put in some really, really good wins. And they're a team who look like they can beat anyone. T-Bone, your thoughts? Yeah, they're really. I mean, a couple of hiccups earlier made me had had me doubting, but this game here is one of those games that really showed that the Ravens mean business. Lamar's doing great. I don't know if I'd say MVP candidate, but RG three seems to think so, and they are the the, the Ravens are are them. Uh, Lamar is actually playing great though. I I do think he is one of the better quarterbacks right now. And I thought he had taken. I thought he had regressed fully, but no, he is he is stepping back and he is proving that he is that guy. I mean, yeah, I completely agree. Lamar has been very, very good this year. I don't know if MVP. Then again, I don't know if anyone's MVP so far this year. But regardless, the Ravens have played some very, very good football, and we're excited to continue to see them do so. Alrighty, coming in at number four, we've got ourselves the Miami Dolphins. The Dolphins coming off of a tough loss against a very good Philadelphia Eagles team in which their 
definitely gonna feel slighted by the referees who definitely heavily favored the Eagles, but it also felt like even without the missed calls, the Miami Dolphins still were not able to play the way they would have liked at all. The Eagles completely shut down their offense, holding them to only 10 points, and the Eagles offense pretty much had their way with the Dolphins. Not completely. The Dolphins defense did keep them in the game, including a crucial pick six in the second half, but still got outclassed, couldn't get it done. Regardless, the Dolphins still a pretty good team, and losing to the Eagles, anyone in this league can do and still hold their head high, although I don't know if Dolphins fans would want to after this one. T-Bone, your thoughts? Yeah, it, it, this game was a very interesting game. I got proven wrong. I mean, I, I thought that I at least thought it would be a closer game, but... Uh... You know what? The Dolphins are still a great team. Still got great offensive uh, offensive weapons. Some some you know pro few problems on defense, but they have Bradley Chubb. Um, that being said, uh, if they keep playing like they're playing, they might go down on this list a little bit. But uh, here's hoping that McDaniel can get there to get the get get the Dolphins crap together and really just start to, start to go crazy. I mean, yeah, there's definitely been concerns about the Dolphins haven't beaten a team with a winning record yet. All the teams that they've beaten have been not so great this year. So definitely some questions surrounding them, but they still have a pretty good offense. So we do have them at number four. All righty, coming in at number three, we have ourselves the San Francisco 49ers who, for the first time in a while, have been knocked off of the number one spot in our power rankings after their second consecutive loss, this time to the Minnesota Vikings, and woof did Brock Purdy not look very good in this one. Threw several interceptions that were not great at all and cost his team the game. They definitely were shorthanded with some injuries, but... It was definitely not the kind of offensive performance that we're used to seeing from this 49ers team losing to the Vikings, who are one of the worst teams in the league. T-Bone, your thoughts? You cannot lose to the Vikings and the Browns and expect to be number one. I am sorry. I We have tried to be gracious to the Niners. No, not today. And despite Kirk Cousins... Best efforts. Without Jay Jettas, uh, they still won. The the 49ers, the 49ers still lost. Uh, I can tell, you know, losing Debo uh, kind of had took a toll, and a couple of injuries took a toll. But that being said, Brock, can, Brock cannot expect to have an absolute super team made for success every single week in and week out. That's just not how it's gonna. That's not how it's gonna roll. And they need to do better. They're a good team. They're a good cohesive team on all sides of the ball. But they need to do better. They need to, you know, I guess, prep a little bit just in case one of their pillars does come tumbling down. That being said, still a good team. Still a great team. Yeah, I mean, I agree. You saw what they did to the Dallas Cowboys a few weeks ago. We know they can play good. They're excellent and talented on all sides of the ball, and they're very, very well coached. The last couple of weeks, been a bit fluky, been a bit slow. Maybe they'll learn from it, grow, and get better, but it does remain to be seen. We do want to see more from the 49ers, though. Alrighty, coming in at number two, and this is the aforementioned team, who we both are not so fond of. The Kansas City Chiefs. The Chiefs coming off of a win over the Los Angeles Chargers, and that pretty much ended the race for the AFC West, although I don't know if the race ever started this year. Chiefs are a pretty darn good team. Six and one, one of two teams to hold that record, tied for the best record in the NFL, and they have been pretty good so far this year. T-Bone, your thoughts? 
Yeah, I just can't. I can't. I do not hate Patrick Mahomes, and I do not hate Travis Kelsey. I actually like both of them. They are humble, solid dudes. I have never seen them really talk a lot of, you know, have a big head, except for maybe Travis. Travis kind of – that being said, both of them I like. It's the media and 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 family slash significant others that I don't like. Let's, let's, let's keep that in mind because Jason, I love Jason. It's just – the way the media acts just makes it sickening. I'm getting tired of seeing Taylor Swift every single game. I'm getting sick of it. That being said, they're playing good. They're playing good. Patrick Holmes, not his best, but still not his best, is still quite good in the NFL. Let's just let's just keep that in mind. Still very good. Um good and just a good team this is really showing that even though patrick mahomes is not playing his best it's not going to be 2013 peyton manning every year i promise i didn't steal that from someone um he stole that from me by the way it's uh okay uh, it's uh all right um <laughs> it's still he's doing great and i'm loving the i'm loving the transition to also give pacheco and mckinnon some love too in the run in the run game so that's what i gotta say about that <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I agree. As annoying as some of the coverage has been, and I completely agree, it's a big reason why I'm not a fan. I also just don't want them to have a dynasty because only the Patriots are allowed to have dynasties in my book. <laughs> <laughs> but regardless, they're still playing very, very good football, and it's at least understandable why they get so much attention. They're playing like a team who deserves it. So I gotta give them props there, and they're number two on this list, tied for the best record in the NFL. And excited to see what they're able to do going forward. And coming in at number one, making their way back to the top of the power rankings, we have ourselves the Philadelphia Eagles. The Eagles took care of business against a very good Miami Dolphins team. Did not allow their offense to do anything at all. Put up 31 points, and that still felt kind of slow and underwhelming for Philadelphia, and that just shows you how good of a football team they are. They played absolutely spectacular this week, and overall, they have played really good just in general. A great bounce-back win after losing last week. And, I mean, I'm really, really excited to see what they're able to do. T-Bone, your thoughts? I'm glad. I'm glad that they're back. I'm glad that we've got... We're all, we're, harmony is restored. Either the Eagles or Niners are being at top of the league. Harmony is restored. I just... I think maybe... And I, 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 I'm a big fan of the Eagles. Vegas is, uh, is not... But I, I am. I, I enjoy it. Well, well, they got well. a likable... I like this... What? So here's the thing. I like this Eagles team. I just don't like the Eagles as a franchise in general. There we go. That's like, what... there is there there is a bit of a difference. Overall, I don't like the Eagles, but this is a really, really fun team to watch, and I do find myself actively rooting for them. I really like Jalen Hurts a lot. That's so. a likable team. It really don't, is. Don't, don't, um, don't throw shade my way. When it, I'm, not throwing sh I'm not throwing shade. I'm not throwing shade. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> saying. Um, maybe a little bit of mud drag. Maybe just a little. Uh, um, but uh, great team. Special teams, defense, offense. You you notice that at the top of this list, at the top, like the top three. They have – it's not just a stellar offense and an okay defense and a great defense and a, and a manageable offense. On these top three, you've got a good defense, a good offense, and some solid special teams. There is not one or the other. They are working in tandem, and it's great. And you know what? I heard Colin Coward is now on the Tush Push train or the Brotherly Shove, and good. I'm glad. Anyone that wants to ban it is no friend of mine. That's a little aggressive and not and more exaggerated. But seriously, people, you want to ban the, the brotherly shove? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? This is great. This is great football. Just a great football team. Uh, that's all I got to say. Got a little tangent there. Yeah, I mean, I agree. And clearly we're having a little more fun in this one. Having, having a good time, being a bit more lighthearted. But it's a fun time in here with the Rottweiler Patriots. And Vegas, the Panthers time. didn't lose. 
the no. Panthers didn't lose this week. What do, what do you what do you want me to do? <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know what? Fair enough. Neither do the Patriots. So. <laughs> And speaking of fun, the Eagles have been a fun team this year. They've been really, really good, and so far, looking like Super Bowl favorites. Excited to see what they're able to do going forward. And so that is going to round out our top ten. Coming in at number ten, the Bills. Number nine, the Bengals. Number eight, the Lions. Number seven, the Seahawks. Number six, the Cowboys. Number five, the Ravens. Number four, the Dolphins. Number three, the 49ers. Number two, the Chiefs. And number one, the Philadelphia Eagles. Please be sure to leave your thoughts down in the comments below. Feel free to drop your own top ten in the comments we'd love to hear any feedback from you all and that is going to do it for us today thank you all so very much for watching please be sure to hit the like button please be sure to subscribe and we will see you all in the next video